Hello, I am Dr. Cinema. I analyze and diagnose movies and explain them to you. As you can tell, I'm in a very different location. I returned back home for the summer, so of course, so all these videos are going to be like in this location in my old childhood home. But welcome to another episode of Dr. Cinema Diagnosis. We're just going to keep doing things as we normally do. On this video, I want to talk about a 2011 film known as Green Hornet. Now, for those of you who don't know, Green Hornet is a comic book character duo where the co comic book rights are owned by DC Comics. And as a character in general, I suppose it was fairly popular. I mean, it was popular enough to get their own TV show back in the 60s. And... And it was popular enough to get this 2011 film. So, who did they get to play? And, for, again, to explain, Green Hornet is played by, in this film, by Seth Rogen, who plays a guy known as... Uh, hold on. Britt Reed. Britt Reed is the son of a young... Famous public newspaper, news media publisher. He's the young published, the son of the young publisher that uh, scratch all that. Britt Reed. In this film, he starts out as the son of a famous editor of a newspaper who dies at the beginning of the film, and then Britt Reed, his son, who was a wealthy man, and a party goer become the new editor in charge of the newspaper who teams up with his very skilled and overqualified driver known as Cato and together they fight crime in the city disguised as villains in order to get closer to the main bad guys. Now in the old comics these two are pretty much seen as like formal, professional, but in the movie, Seth Rogen and Jay Child play the characters, and they're usually not the most professional of the sorts when, in terms of movie characters that they portray. So, and a lot of people give this movie a bad reputation, not being that faithful to the comics or sorts, or doing this thing instead of that thing. Why'd they do this character like this? Honestly, I think it's a good movie. I think... Secretly, this is a good, entertaining movie. I mean, sure, it's not the same Green Hornet that a lot of people probably recognize, but I think that's sort of the point of this film. I mean, with Seth Rogen, he's a comedy actor, so I think secretly, even though Seth Rogen said it was a nightmare making this movie with like the producers being in charge, saying they want this, this, that sort of stuff, I think it's secretly a satire film of comic book movies. I mean, this came out in 2011, same year as the first Thor and Captain America movie, a year after Iron Man 2, and a year before The Avengers and Dark Knight Rises. So I think in a way, this is sort of like a satire of comic book movies and how they do things. Like, there's a point in the movie where Seth Rogen, he finally puts all like, the information together of the villain's plan and everything. And the villain who's like saying it is like, you've just been sitting quiet, sitting there quietly with that look for like a solid five minutes. Like, we know that the character Seth Rogen plays, this version, is not as smart as the one that most people rec recognize from the past. But with this satirical approach to how the characters work, it provides a very comedic and comedic edge to it that I believe worked very well for this kind of film. It, so... No, this is not the same Green Hornet that many people come to know and love. But the di my diagnosis, this is still an incredibly fun movie. It's worth checking out. I even have a DVD copy of this film. So I recommend you go check it out. Don't take it so seriously. Just go with the flow of the movie and you will find yourself to actually be enjoying a lot of this movie. Shut up! I don't care about the faithfulness of the comics. This is still a very good movie that works. Sorry about that. Bigger comic book nerd than me.
This is Dr. Cinema. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.